The concern stems from the fact that we use these embryonic derived cells called HEK cells to build some vaccines and especially the Oxford vaccine which is in the news so much at the moment. So there are some ethical concerns around the use of those cell lines because they were originally derived from an aborted foetus. So these cells were originally derived 40 or 50 years ago in Holland and then immortalised so that we culture them in the lab. I grow these in my lab. There are 160 odd different kinds of vaccines in development for COVID. Some of them use viruses, some of them use what we call recombinant proteins. And those kinds of vaccines have to use some form of a cell line to generate the vaccine material. And some of those use these embryonic cell lines. So we've already got some existing vaccines that have been created using these or similar cell lines. Chickenpox, um, rubella, and some of the hepatitis vaccines. And really, it's hard to think of any modern medicine that at some point in its research development or production hasn't relied on these cell lines or cell lines like them. It's understandable that there's fear and anxiety around a new vaccine like this. And under the pressure that we're under to get a new vaccine developed, it's important that these things are allowed to run through all of the, the regular trials and, and all of the safety testing so that people can have confidence that the final product, whatever shape that takes, um, is safe and effective.